welcome to another Exchange 2019 video and in this video I want to talk to you about running coexistence with Exchange 2013 and Exchange 2019. There's been quite a big demand for this so I thought I'd do a series on Azure to show you um, how you can run coexistence and the first thing we need to talk about is domain controllers. Now, as you can see that uh, I've prepped a 2016 domain controller. Um, these servers are still vanilla. And the reason being is because Exchange 2013 will not work with Exchange um, 2019 domain controllers. It's not supported. If you go look at the documentation, the highest uh, schema version or schema server you can have is 2016. The next thing to look at is Exchange 2013 itself. Um, so in this series, we are going to basically be doing um, 18 videos. That's one eight. And this is going to be from setting up your domain controller on uh, server 2016 to joining your 2013 server to the domain that you create here. And then obviously installing the right uh, cumulative updates that will work with Exchange 2019. So Exchange 2013 requires uh, CU21 or higher to support Exchange 2019. Anything earlier than that will not work, is not supported. From an Exchange 2019 perspective, um, it doesn't actually matter because Exchange 2019 machine will basically run on Windows Server 2019 only, whether it's um, core version or whether it's um, the GUI version. In this uh, video, we basically be running with the full desktop version and not core because core is a lot harder to configure. And if you're not familiar with the process, then um, you know, you might get lost along the way. So we will do videos on running core as well, but uh, not in this series. So basically what we're going to do then is set up Exchange 2019 on the latest CU. We will be running Exchange 2013 on the latest CU. Um, so CU8 for 2019 and CU23 for Exchange 2013. And what we're going to do then is on both servers, we'll be installing the prerequisites for each version. And then we'll be installing Exchange itself with the security updates on each one. And then we'll be obviously configuring uh, things like virtual directories and certificates, etc. And then once we've got all the configuration going on or done, we'll basically then set up Outlook connectivity. We'll show you a mailbox that's on Exchange 2013, and then we will show you a mailbox that's on Exchange 2019. And then what we will do is we will migrate a mailbox from 2013 to 2019, and we'll show you the uh, Outlook experience and also the OA experience. And then, um, We'll also explain why you cannot bring in 2019 domain controllers even though you're running Exchange 2019. Exchange 2019 does support um, 2016 domain controllers, so you don't need to worry about that. It is fully supported. And then we'll also talk about um, the extended support that's left for both versions, 2013 and 2019. And then we'll explain why we can't create a DAG between the two versions. Uh, if you are a person who knows Exchange end-to-end, -end, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you're somebody new to Exchange, you cannot mix and match uh, Exchange versions in a database availability group. And we'll obviously chat about setting up the database sorry, availability group. And then also we will look at uh, migrating everything on the final point from 2013 to 2019. And then we will decommission our 2013 server. So there will be 18 videos uh, in total. This is the first one just to explain what we're doing. And then each one after that we will uh, explain each step. And all of this is done in Azure. You can see I'm, I'm in, in Azure. My machines are currently stopped or deallocated because I'm not using them. But as we go ahead now, we will power up each one. Just remember this is a lab. 
the domain controllers and exchange servers each have four CPUs with 16 gigs of RAM. Obviously, this is not ideal for a production environment, but um, if you do have the uh, capability of building a test lab, this is brilliant, and you can follow it uh, step by step. And uh, I will release the videos after each section that I've done. So the parts will take a little bit longer, but each part will be released on, on, on YouTube, and then you'll be able to go through all 18 once it's uploaded. And that's it uh, for the Exchange 2013-2019 Coexistence Preparation. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, part two, where we will basically set up our domain controller. Thank you very much for watching.